The gallery captions in the Squarespace website, they're paragraph text. They're kind of boring, but they don't have to be. I'm Becca Harpain from Inside the Square, and in this video, I'm going to teach you how you can customize your gallery captions with CSS. All of the code I'm sharing with you is listed in the description underneath this video, but without further ado, I'm gonna share my screen to teach you exactly how to customize those captions to make them uniquely yours. Let's get started. Here we are inside Squarespace, and I've already created a gallery section with a few captions that we're going to customize with code. If you're not familiar with gallery sections, hop into edit mode, select the add section option, and scroll all the way down to the images category. Here inside images, when you see this little icon, that's an indicator that you're about to work with a gallery section. Be advised that not every section here inside images is a gallery section. These examples are regular Fluid Engine page sections. You need to make sure you find a section with this icon to enable the features we're going to use in this tutorial. Now in this gallery section, you'll see the option to edit the gallery, and this is where we added our captions. Inside the gallery editor, every image can have a description. When this description is visible on a Squarespace website, it's called a caption. Now, if you look at these different images, I have a few examples. We even have a line break here. This is going to be a special part of the tutorial, so I wanted you to notice that line break in this text right here, and I have another example right here as well. But again, the description is where we're going to add the gallery caption, and you can have a unique one for every single image in your gallery. Now, underneath the edit section option is where we actually enable the captions. If you don't see your text, make sure you toggle this feature on so that it's visible. And once it is, let's start customizing with code. I'll select save and exit. And on the left-hand side of the screen, I'm going to select pages, then website tools, then custom CSS. Now, let me scroll up so we can see the captions here. There we go. Gallery captions are designed to match paragraph text, but that's what we're going to change here with our custom code. I'm going to enter the code name for these captions, and that's gallery caption P. That stands for the container it's in, the gallery caption area, and P is for paragraph text. Now, if we open up a curly bracket, we can start by changing the font size right away. We'll say 20px, but you'll notice nothing has changed. That's because this paragraph text already has a font size assigned to it. We need to say my code is important by saying exclamation point important and instantly you will see the text has now increased in size for all of my gallery captions. Font size is just one example of the many font and text properties that you can use to customize these captions. Let's do a few more together. I'll say font weight and we'll go ahead and make it bold. Again, we'll need to say exclamation point important, and there we go. How about we change the color? How about we make the text a bright blue? Perfect. Now we have a blue gallery caption that's bold and is a font size of 20px that looks a lot different from what we started with. If you want to change the alignment, we can do that here as well. Let's go ahead and say text align center. And now those captions will be aligned in the center, and I'll scroll up here so you can see it's happening to all of these captions. Do you remember earlier in the video when I mentioned this line break? Let's go ahead and address that right now. We'll add one more semicolon here, and I'm going to add a special code that says white space pre-line. This is going to allow the computer browser to recognize the line breaks. When we didn't have this particular part of the code there, it treated the whole gallery caption as one big paragraph. By saying white space pre-line, we're telling the computer to pay attention to any line breaks. Remember I had a second one as well? We'll see that visible down here. Now these are just a few examples of all of the creative codes that you can use to customize a gallery caption. We can do other things like change up the font family as well. Maybe you want it to be serif or another font on your website. If you're code doesn't work, just add exclamation point important, but these gallery captions will respond to just about any font and text code available. Before we call this tutorial a wrap, I want to show you something else that we can customize about the gallery caption that I think is really important for a lot of creative designs, and that is the gallery caption container itself. We're going to open up a curly bracket after the text gallery slash caption. We're not going to include the letter P this time. We're going to target the entire gallery caption itself. So we can give it a background color, how about we say background yellow? It's going to be way too bright. Yep, way too bright. Let's change that to a hex color code that I like, a nice light shade of blue. There we go. Now it's a lot easier to see this gallery caption separate from the content on the page, but having it directly underneath the image is a clear indicator that it's directly related to the image. One other thing I like to customize about gallery captions is the space. I want you to notice how this text is really close to the edge of the gallery caption container. We can change that with a little bit of custom code. 
I'm going to add a line that says padding 5% and it's going to look like a hot mess. Did you see how it just made the caption way bigger than it was before? I added some padding so that the text will be right up next to the edge, but it made the caption way too wide. We added 10% to the width of the gallery caption, so we need to reduce that and say width 90%. And now it's going to scoot it back down. You might be wondering, why am I using percentages instead of specific values? And I'll show you why. This helps me maintain 100% width on all screen sizes. This works for the desktop version and for the mobile version of our website. Notice how this caption still has the 5% space between the text and the edge of the caption, but it only takes up 100% of the width because 90 plus 5 plus 5 equals 100. And that works for all device sizes. You will find all of these codes underneath this video, and I want to encourage you to get creative. These are just a few examples of the ways you can customize a gallery caption. We'll go ahead and select Save and call this tutorial good to go. And there you have it, Squarespacer. Underneath this video, you'll find the base codes that we used and some of those creative customizations so you can copy and paste them right into your Squarespace website. I'm Becca Harpain from Inside the Square, and I've got a lot more to teach you about all the cool things that Squarespace can do. If you liked this video, let me know in the comments below and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching, and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. Good news, Squarespacer. We finally have an AI that truly understands Squarespace. Meet Custom Cody. Built specifically for Squarespace users and trained on every nuance of the program, Custom Cody is your AI-powered assistant for effortless expert-level Squarespace customization. Available now at customcody.com.